Okay, so we have been reading from Shel Silverstein's When the Side Where the Sidewalk Ends. Now there's sometimes we run out of sidewalk, right? Because what we what have we done? It's just it wasn't the sidewalk wasn't made long enough. But sometimes if we use our imagination, we can imagine that a sinkhole appears in the earth and the sidewalk drops off the earth. We run out of sidewalk because there's a sinkhole, right? If that were to happen, it would be chaos. It may be dark and people falling into places and gravel and dirt everywhere, dust everywhere, people trying to find themselves. And in the chaos, what comes? Ah, imaginative poetry. And that's what Shel Silverstein is writing about. Okay? So, again, where the sidewalk ends. Okay, so the two poems I'm going to read today to you, sorry if I'm like making it. Okay, so I'm going to read It's Dark in Here. Okay? It's dark in here. I'm writing these poems from inside a lion. And it's rather dark in here, so please excuse my please excuse the handwriting, which may not be too clear. But this afternoon, by the lion's cage, I'm afraid I got too near, and I'm writing these lines from in, I'm writing these lines from inside a lion, and it's rather dark in here. So there are places that we can go, like in Africa specifically, we can go on safari in Kenya, and you can walk right right you can walk or drive right alongside the um the um, lions and wildlife. Kind of like in um, uh, Madagascar. You remember they were, um, when the lions came and, you know, so the ones that had been in the zoo were kind of like, wow, what's going on? So that's kind of like a safari when you actually go into the wild and you remember the plane was in the wild and all that kind of stuff like that. So if that should happen and you get too close to a lion, what might happen? That's right. The lion might grab you up and swallow you. And so this story is told from the perspective of someone that got swallowed by a lion, but from inside of the lion's belly, inside of the lion's tummy, he's still writing the he's still writing poetry. Okay? So do you think that happened for real? What would have to happen? That's right. He wasn't chewed. He didn't get bit, so there was no blood. He was just swallowed whole and went down into the tummy. Okay? But what did he say? It's what? It's dark in here. Exactly. So now, let's see. Orchestra. Now, orchestra is usually O-R-C-H-E-S-T-R-A, but I think he made it on purpose. He said O-U-R. So let's see what he's talking about. So you haven't got a drum. Just beat your belly. So I haven't got a horn. I'll play my nose. So we haven't any cymbals. We'll just slap our hands together. And though there may be orchestras that sound a little better with their fancy shiny instruments, that cost that cost an awful lot. Hey, we're making music twice as good by playing what we've got. So the idea is that sometimes you may not have all the fanciest things, but if you love what you do, you make a way to do it and you do it to the best of your ability. Okay? So that's the poem for those are the two poems for tonight i want to share a quick prayer we're going to do um now i lay me down to sleep i pray the lord my soul to keep if i should die before i wake i pray the lord my soul to take now let's see that one mm, let's do one more um our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom done thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. De lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I love you, Niaja. I believe that you are beautiful. I believe you're intelligent. And I believe you should have incredibly sweet dreams tonight. Okay? So, um... 
I love you and have a great evening, okay? All right, peace.